Joanne's Friends Vocabulary Lesson Instructions Listen to the vocabulary lesson several times. Repeat the words and make sure you understand what they mean. Okay, boys and girls, we're back to another vocabulary lesson for our first episode in this unit. I bet your vocabulary list has grown since we started, and I hope it continues to do so. We have learned so much together, and if you stick with us, there is so much more to learn. So moving along with our lesson, we have come to our first word, which is brown. Brown is a color term used to describe a range of composite colors produced by mixing orange, red, or yellow with black or gray. It could be considered an orange color of low brightness and saturation. There are so many objects in this world that have the color brown in it. Things like the trunk of a tree, dirt, fallen leaves, etc. are all brown in different shades and hues. There are even many brown animals. There are even people with brown skin. Humans come in many colors and we should learn to love and accept each other the way we are. Please brown the meat in the pan before frying it. The drought browned the leaves of the trees in our yard. The next word we come to while reading our mini-story is most. It is a word used to form the superlative of many and much, which means that something or someone is the greatest or holds a record-setting amount in whatever is being expressed. It is also used to express a great extent or degree. When we want to say that something is the greatest, we will use this word. There is nothing that equals it at the moment. I am sure you have already used this adverb many times. The king cobra is the most dangerous snake on the planet. Who has the most expensive car in the world? Moving along, we come to our next word, wrote. This word is the past of the verb write. It means to communicate or express something on a surface such as paper, in the form of letters, words, or symbols. It is the act of creating a written work composing music or communicating something to someone. When I studied in school, I wrote essays, book reports, class notes, etc. for all subjects, not to mention the notes I wrote my friends. We must write at work, home, and all over the place. Writing is important for everyone to learn if they want to go anywhere in life or be able to communicate. He wrote four novels in one year. I wrote an email the other day to express my gratitude for all they have done. Now let's look at a new word. A device or telecommunication that converts a sound human voice into electrical signals that can be transmitted over very long distances and then converts received signals back into sounds is a phone. The complete word for phone is telephone, but since the word is so long we like to shorten it. Ever since Alexander Graham Bell invented the phone in the 1870s, it has become more and more sophisticated. There are phones connected all over the world. We use this device every day and has become something we cannot live without. I talked to her on the phone last night. He used the phone to call his wife. Our following word is road, and it is also the past of the verb to ride. It means to sit and be carried on the back of an animal or in a vehicle. Some means of controlling the motions of the vehicle is usually possible. Everyone has ridden something, whether it be a bike, horse, donkey, car, motorcycle, etc. When we go to circuses or fairs, we can ride many things like a Ferris wheel or bumper cars. I love riding bumper cars. They are lots of fun. She rode a horse to school today. I rode the subway every day until I got a car. 
Moving along in the mini story, we come to our second to last vocab word, which is nose. It is an organ for smelling, and it is the entrance to the respiratory tract for admitting and expelling air. It is usually the protruding part on the face of a human or other mammal. If we were to walk down the street and observe people's nose, we would notice that there are noses of all shapes, sizes, and colors. The nose is an important part of our face that we use to smell and breathe filtered air. We can also use this term to say that something is very close, yet was not noticeable. In the mini story, for example, Joanne saw Tom right in front of her nose. He wasn't literally in front of her nose, but in the sense that he was very close. However, she only noticed him when she looked up. She has an awfully big nose. The document was right under his nose, but he couldn't find it. And our last word is thrown. It is the past of the verb to throw. It means to propel or hurl something or someone through the air. When we play sports such as soccer and the ball goes out of bounds, we need to throw it back into one of the team players. It can also be used to say that someone gave or conveyed a look or physical gesture. We use it figuratively to throw a look at someone whether good or bad. The thrown rider got back on his horse again. She threw me a dirty look when I honked at her. <laughs>